Hello, people of YouTube! My name is Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and feel free to comment down below what you would like me to do for future videos. So today, we are talking about the she Hajikai, the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, overhaul... Jasaki, even though he doesn't like to be called that because he's renounced that name and now he's just overhaul. Uh, but we are talking more specifically about his monster form or his, um, I guess we can call it a fusion form. Um, and kind of what this means, um, how powerful he is now, and uh, what might possibly be happening in future episodes of My Hero Academia. So, as we can already have seen from, uh, basically his previous powers, he can take a hallway and basically turn it into a giant crazy dungeon, and there can be also a bunch of death spikes as well. Uh, so he himself is very, very powerful. Um, if it was a one-on-one -on -one situation, um, 9 out of 10, most of the people he would go against, he would win. Um, all he really has to do is touch you. His quirk is overall. He can rearrange people's bodies. He can heal them. He can, as we've seen, he can destroy them in one touch. And basically, by himself, he is, like, super powerful. I mean, he's up there. He's. They, I'm looking at the official website right now. They classify him as rank B. Um... But I could say maybe by himself he's rank B, but when he, he's got the fusion thing going on with the crazy forearms, uh, we're going to say he's probably in the S range. Uh, so now the next person we're going to need to talk about is Shin Nemato. Uh, he is one of Overhaul's eight bullets. And his quirk is confession, and basically what it means is if he asks you a question, you have to answer and you have to tell the truth. Uh, we saw this previously with Lemillion, where he was asked about his quirk and he had to explain exactly what it was. So this is also a very dangerous quirk in, it, in itself. Um, and we get to see Overhaul use this in his monster form uh, to basically lure Eerie back into him because uh, he's making Eerie believe that she is the reason behind all of these endless deaths. In reality, she is not. It is just consequential because... Uh, Eerie is the main part of Overhaul's plan to create the bullets that completely erase quirks, uh, which he could be making a lot of money on. So, uh, this fusion basically happens because Overhaul is backed into a corner. There's nothing he can really do. Uh, Shin Nemato is basically knocked out anyway, so he's not going to be able to fight him with it. And um, he wanted Overhaul, basically, you know, he gave his life to Overhaul anyway. Uh, all the of the eight bullets basically think they are useless to society, but uh, Overhaul gave them a use. So no, Shin has no problem at all, probably giving his life to Overhaul. Uh, the this kind of fusion process or breakdown process is very painful uh, for both <laughs> Overhaul and Shin. So it's not like a uh, Dragon Ball Z kind of fusion dance type situation, or with the earrings uh, where they are forced together. It is a very painful process because he is literally breaking himself down and breaking Shin down in order to create an entire new being. So this is now no longer Overhaul, and it's no longer Shin. It is an entirely different person. Um, I don't know if they would both die if Overhaul tried to separate him, or if just Shin died, um, or what that is, but we can definitely see aspects of both uh, all over Overhaul's clothing. Uh, for example, the like black uh, cape thing is like from Shin is basically all over, basically all over Overhaul's entire body, um, all over the arms. Uh, Overhaul now has four arms. Um, on the arms itself, uh, we can see Shin's mouth. Uh, we can also see kind of the uh, goggles, I guess you could say, or the glass circles from the mask, the eye holes uh, from Shin's mask on Overhaul's limbs as well. Um, in this monster form, he is just ridiculously overpowered. Um, it's going to be pretty hard to stop this guy. I mean, he had two ways to distort this room around him in the concrete and do all these crazy death spikes. Now he has four. Not only does he have four, he seems like he's taller, um, pretty much because he reconstructed himself. All the damage that he took from both Lemillion and Deku is now gone, so he's basically brand new and shiny again. Um, his mouth is kind of weird now because it's kind of a combination of both of uh, uh, Shin's mask and his mask, and it's his actual mouth now, uh, which is kind of creepy, which we got to see. Uh, so it is now a physical part of his body. 
Um, it's not something he is able to take off anymore. Um, all of the like kind of disease spots, whatever disease he might have had, uh, that is now completely gone. Uh, so no, no, he no longer has to worry about that. Um, I'm not exactly sure why the arms are kind of red. I can understand the black lines going throughout them because that obviously makes sense. But um, I'm not sure where the red comes from unless that's just an aesthetic choice he chose. But the mouse in his hand uh, provide confession um, as we saw in episode 12 if you watched episode 12. And um, he has the ability to learn anybody's basically quirks now if he asks them. Um, he has four different ways to touch people and murder them instantly. <laughs> and he is now using his conf new confession quirk, uh, his combined quirk, to try to get Eerie to come back to him. Now my question is, is there going to be some sort of crazy combination of his quirk and confession, or can he only use them separately? We don't really know this yet. Uh, we have to wait and see what happens with the new episode. Um, but this new monster form is crazy. <laughs> it's not anything like we've ever seen before. He even admitted in the episode that he's actually never tried doing this before. One, because he hates germs, and probably the thought of actually fusing with somebody is disgusting to him. Um, or taking over their body. Uh, two, obviously there's going to be a massive pain aspect. And three, he's never been backed into a corner this far uh, in order to actually need to use this. So the only reason he's actually doing this is because he's basically lost. Um, he, he's to the point where he is the only one left. Um, yes, uh, Katsukame um, is now down there with him, as we saw at the end of the episode. Uh, so maybe he'll even fuse with Katsukame too, making super buff crazy monster overhaul. That would be interesting to see. Um, but, uh, more than likely he is, he might be taking somebody out besides Sir Night Eye along with him. Um, but now we got some pro heroes. Uh, we got the rank 10 hero, Rukiu. Now we got you Gravity. Uh, we got Froppy helping out. So, I mean, he's, he's super backed into a corner at this point. It's like, you got Deku. Uh, Lamillion's pretty much out for the count. Uh, Sir Night Eye obviously is dead or extremely injured. But at this point, it's four on one. So even in this crazy monster form, uh, we'll see how OP it really is if it is really a t uh, uh, S class villain. Uh, because as I said, looking at the rankings, I don't know why they're showing him as a B rank villain. Um, his power is as good, if not better, than Todoroki's. Um, so I don't see why they would rank, consider him a rank B villain when literally he can touch you and it's instant death. Uh, the only thing I could think of is um, mentally, um, you know, with like germs and stuff, he kind of gets overstruck by his anger. Uh, so there's a little bit of weakness there. Uh, speed, agility, uh, physical strength. Um, it doesn't look like he's done any actual training. He pretty much solely relies on his quirk. Maybe that's why they're kind of uh, giving him that B ranking as opposed to like an A or S ranking, uh, which would make sense. Uh, which would make sense just based on those stats alone. But this had one powerful quirk, crazy monster. Cannot wait to see what happens uh, this coming Saturday for episode 13. My name is Steve Great. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.